playtime's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. Will, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should Promised Soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the Pact Holder shall cast the Promised into a Vernus as a Lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. What condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? You actually think you hold the winning hand? Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. You've heard of this provision. Better known as the You First Clause. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. It. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? I never forget what Will did. Not ever. 
I'm here because of him. And I'd do just about anything to help him. But devils never lose. You know that, right? Sure, they'll give you a bit of tat here and there. But the house always wins. Feeling illicit? You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. Mark my words, this power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gay tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein. What am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Set up you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Well, no tentacles yet. I suppose we can consider that a success. Come on, 
then don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? Ribaldry as always. Well, you could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. Famously humorless, Illithids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. Should your wit begin to suffer, only then must we worry. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the Hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at moonrise. I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked farther from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tyr's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious, but once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you.
I appreciate where you're coming from. Truly, I do. But these parasites are quite literally illithid weapons of war. And I'm not so certain they won't be turned against us upon consuming them. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But, with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. It's not easy, seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Yes, I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Thaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from. And what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. And some might say eels and turnips boiled in milk is a delicacy, but some are fools. I'll make my own mind up. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Well, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been dwelling on becoming a dark justicia. 
Perhaps seeing the power of Shah unleashed on that land is keeping the thought in my mind. But don't worry. I still have plenty of room for you in both mind and heart. Fine. What's on your mind? The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove.
Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Yes. Yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. glad you are on my side. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. <sighs> Hence its fear of me. It's... it's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. There's something I've been wanting to share with you, if now's a good time. <sighs> no. The opposite. I feel like I can share this with you. I've never felt that way before. Difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you.
how I came to be who I am. How I found my way to Lady Shah's embrace. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and... Salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes.
perhaps you're right. And perhaps one day I won't have to suffer. But I don't think that day has arrived yet. Lady Shah will ease my pain when she wishes to. Very serious of you, but go ahead. We're gone. Even if she did, it doesn't matter. Mole needs us. I know, I know, but we need a plan. Take a moment, Brad. Save our victory over the Dryder. I'll celebrate when Ketherick's dead. Not before. We're still alive, Brad. Worth a cheer at the very I'll be honest, didn't think we stood a chance. Not till you came along. Why don't we ask Jahira? Yeah, because she did a great job protecting Mom. <sighs> Maybe we should ask someone else. Who? No one cares. No one but us. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods, or laying with them, depending on the bard. Oh, that old fraud should be dust a century past. But then, lies live forever, and he's half made of this stuff. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult, and they can spin stories about you for a change. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. 
Latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. So firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Dahira won't even notice we're gone. Even if she did, it doesn't matter. Mole needs us. I know, I know, but we need a plan. Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mol would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Mol is family. Bring her back, please. Bearing to march, I wager. Seems that way. We need Mol. Please, get her back. One lost soldier among thousands. Marcus was scum, but the rest of us are loyal to Duke Ravengard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. We kept Alt safe. That's what matters. Couldn't have done it without you. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him, inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. I'm afraid so, yes. Let's check his person. There might be something on him to help us get started. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. I don't deserve you, my friend. Fear so black and 